Operating your grinding mills with feed that's too large is inefficient and a considerable burden on the overall power consumption of the plant. It can lead to suboptimal recovery rates as well as high energy costs. We had a European nickel mine struggling with this very issue. They have a secondary and tertiary cone crusher in their circuit leading to the mills. This particular mine is very hard and difficult to crush ore and they were having issues with this large feed to the mill. They couldn't tighten the crushes any further to reduce this mill feed size as they were already operating on the power and force limits. Special low compression, low force crushing cavities were developed to allow the machines to be run at a tighter setting within these same power and force limits. A secondary improvement of special bowl liners was developed to allow large boulders still going to the secondary circuit while still maintaining these low force and low compression characteristics. As a result of these improvements, the feed to the mill was found to be significantly smaller, allowing for more efficient grinding, better recovery, and ultimately leading to greater profits from site.